here. Welcome back for more Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars. In the last episode, we got to uh, this playroom, and look, there is a little Samus doll in that little toy box. Oh man, it's crazy like bananas. Hell yeah. But anyway, um, go through this way. We can finally, we finally reached Princess Toadstool. But, uh, we can't quite get to her because the door's locked with a spell that Booster put on it. Um, uh, okay, now we gotta go hide. So let's go hide. Hide the curtain. That's that 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 hmm, that's brilliant, Mario. Hide the curtain. Then again, you are messing with Booster because, well, Booster is an idiot after all. <laughs> oh goodness. But I digress. Today is June twenty seventh, two thousand eleven. Uh, and uh, I just got done eating. That's why I burped three times in a row. <laughs> but I digress. They are looking for the Mario doll, and it is on top of the curtains. However, they don't have the common sense to look up. So they're going to look behind the curtains where I am. This part always freaks me out whenever I play. I'm afraid that they're going to find me. I mean, not this first part, but when there's more searching at once, it's like, oh my god. They're going to find me. They're going to find me. But they never find me. And I'm always safe. Okay, two. Sometimes they'll change their mind and go different places like that. Oh my gosh. It freaked me out. First time I ever played this. I'm like, no! I don't want to be captured. But, um... Thing is, if you do get captured, they'll just start their search over. But, well, with however many there was, and uh, if they capture you three times, I think, then uh, you get into a non-required battle, a non-required boss battle, and you fight Booster. But uh, if you let Booster find you right here, he'll freak out, but he won't know this. He'll know this right away. <laughs> the doll is above you. And, uh, yeah, again, Booster's an idiot. <laughs> oh, but I digress. Let's help him get his doll back. Yay, got an amulet, tells ya. Password is Travis. And no, I did not edit that in. That's actually the password. You know why? Because that's what I put at the beginning of the game as my name. So if you wanted to name uh, your file something dirty and you wanted the game to say it, well, there you go. That's your only time it's going to happen. But I digress. We've now equipped everybody with their best stuff. And yeah. Okay, out here we have Knife Guy. And what's the other guy's name? I forgot. Oh boy, it's raining. It doesn't look like this episode's going up today. It's probably going to go up tomorrow if it keeps raining. Oh. Well, that was a brief rain. <laughs> I 
Okay, right now, right now we're attacking Knife Guy because he has the best defense. I think he has the best physical defense. You want to use uh, magic on this guy, but I'm not sure on that really. Okay, let's see. Mario, you need a mushroom, so here you go. Thank you, Gino. Okay, the rain started back up again. Wow, okay. Yep, there's thunder. Okay, thunder, lightning. <sighs> Let's see. Great guy, that's it. Okay. Great guy is weak against physical attacks. And knife guy is weak against magic attacks, I believe. But, uh, that's why I'm attacking great guy now, because, uh,. Well, <laughs> he's weak. He's weaker than Knife Guy, so we can do more damage to him. Blizzard! Entertainment! <laughs> uh, I hate World of Warcraft. And lo and behold, her son hate man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes, I cannot stand World of Warcraft, or WoW for short. Again, I knew I was going to need some pick-me-ups, so... Yeah, here we go. I knew stuff like this was going to happen in Booster's Tower. I always have trouble with it, and always will. The only way I wouldn't have trouble with it is if I leveled up more, but, uh... I think I'm pretty high enough level for Booster's Tower. I mean, you don't have to be overpowered, like, I don't know, like level 10 or level uh, 15, actually. If you're level 15 by this point, then there's something wrong. You've been dying a lot. Uh, but I digress. If we defend at the right time, we can take half damage, and if we defend even better than that, we can take no damage. If you defend just right in this game, you can always take zero damage, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. You can rather take zero, half, or all. Oh well. <clears throat> we destroyed the great guy, which uh, which was pretty awesome. We uh, went through that pretty fast. Now we got a beat knife guy, and be on our way, yo. Okay. There we go. Moving on like it was no thing. Gonna jump off the side and commit suicide. <laughs> That's how the battle ends. I know it's weird, but whatever. Okay, after the princess we go. This is... Let's see. Oh gosh. She's on your back, idiot. All he wants is cake. All anybody wants in the Mario games is cake these days. Well, except Mario. Mario wants a kiss from the princess, that's about it. <laughs> he could care less. No, I don't know how I don't wanna know how to go on Booster Hill because if you let's see if you jump on the barrels you get a little boost forward and you'll get a flower from the princess and as you know the flowers add one to your flower count see there you go there we go got a flower almost got another one but uh, Booster's just a little too fast for me uh, the max I've ever gotten on this game was two. Let's see how I do this time. Flower game's kind of difficult for me. I think it. I really haven't mastered it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can jump off of. Uh, yeah, you can jump off of the little enemies that are following you too. You get a little speed boost that way too. So uh, yeah. Awesome, so. Awesome sauce is 
greatest dipping sauce ever. You guys gotta try it. Amazing for chips and dip. Oh man. There we go, we got two flowers. Nice. We're almost done with the hill though, so I don't know if I'll be able to get the third or not. Let's find out. Come on, Mr. Booster. Slow down so I can get me a flower. And save the princess from getting married to you. Yes, that's Booster's plan. He wants to marry the princess. Yeah, oh, come on. We're right there. We almost had it. There we go. There we go. Three. Yeah. That's probably the best I'm ever going to do. <laughs> Three is my new high score. Got three flowers, and Mario's just like, whoa, dizziness. Okay, let's go in here real quick and let's see what they got. Since I know it is half of uh, item shop or weapon shop, let's go ahead and sell the goodie bag for 555 coins. Oh man. We're now maxed out on coins, which is 999. Yeah, I know. Well, he couldn't have went to a thousand, but whatever. <sighs> this is for Mello. Chop shell, that's for Bowser. Armor for everybody. Bathtub ring. Mid mushroom, we need some of those, maple syrup, no one of those, okay. Equip the items we just got. Mario, punch glove, no. Mallow, womp glove, wait, Mallow's not in our party. What we need to do is scroll down, and then put it on him. Raising his attack power immensely. Chomp shell, that is for the chomp. And it lowered our defense. I mean, not our defense, our attack. So, I'm not going to put it on. Just leave the chop on. I have your pants. Wow. Holy crap, Mallow. Um, wow, the happy stuff is actually weaker than work pants. And to an extent. Um, wow. Okay. Happy shell for Bowser? Yeah, because he doesn't have anything else on him. <clears throat> you know what? I'm just gonna leave Milo with the happy pants. I mean, I could give him his work pants back, but, uh, whatever. Okay. I bought the bathtub ring, but, uh, just so you guys know, it is useless to have. Well, technically. I bought it for a reason, because there is something you can do with it. Okay, let's go ahead and sell our stuff. Go ahead and... So, I think about the work pants, because I know we'll probably need those later. I'll probably equip those back to Mallow. Then again, I don't know. Jump shoes, yeah. Anyway, I did not even say what this place was. This is Marymore. This is where uh, Booster and the Princess are going to get married or attempt at it. We're going to try to stop it. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead and save. Merry more. See? I told you it was Merry more. Okay, up here is the chapel. Can't quite go this way yet. So, let's see. Yeah, the reason I went back there is because you do need to get back there in a moment to get in. But, uh,. 
I digress. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? I'm doing just fine. You've been baking a cake for a while now, I see. Well, you know what? I'm gonna step on it. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? I'm gonna do it again because it's funny. <laughs> I want to mess that cake up. Yo. Hey, it's a snippet. And he just realized that I got inside. <laughs> okay, I did have a uh, little trouble right here. Yes, this is post commentary. I got it, man. See, this is the only episode I did in post commentary, though. Well, these past three. I made three episodes all at once, and I made the first one with live commentary, the second one, this one, with post commentary, and the third one with live commentary. So, okay, here's what we gotta do. We gotta run at the same time and go through this door, just like that. Sorry about that. Okay, just making sure my TV wouldn't get loud all of a sudden, because... Uh, I did have signal, but I lost signal, and it's just like, well, bam. And now I'm like, oh man. Okay, now what we need to do. Hmm. Actually, I think this goes into a different part. Um. Yeah, I think I'll end this part off here. Uh, this has been your host, Halo 3 Amateur. And I will see you guys next time for more Super Mario RPG Legends 7 Stars. Later, folks.